Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Now, in two of our recent videos, we discussed how to become a better software engineer and also resume tips for software engineers, which can be both be found in the description below. Now, in this video, we're going to share insights into how you can become a software engineer starting from the very beginning with absolutely no experience and no degree. Yes, software developers are made, not born. While you think about that, let me start with just saying anyone can become a software developer. Now repeat after me, anyone can become a software developer. Yes, there is a degree for it. Yes, it is technical. And yes, it is hard work. But that does not mean that you cannot become a software developer unless you have a degree or some super genius math wizard. You'll be surprised by the number of programmers who actually don't have a degree but still manage to become very successful. So here it is, a step-by-step -step guide on how you can become a software developer without a degree or any knowledge of the industry. Also, if you happen to be an experienced software developer and you're watching this video, feel free to leave all of your feedback and advice for those who are just starting out as well in the comments below. So we've made lots of videos offering tips to software developers and software engineers. So if you're just starting out, you might be wondering what exactly is a software engineer or a software developer? Well, a software engineer is someone who's employed to write code for software products like operating systems, video games, robots, features, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There really is no difference between software engineer, developer, programming architect, and a software developer. Really, they are all interchangeable terms. So make sure you search for all of these terms when you are looking for a job in the future. So if you're just beginning, you're probably wondering which language should you learn first? Well, the truth is that there really is no best programming language. And most developers actually learn several software languages and technologies over time. So the idea is to kind of start off with any language you prefer, really. Don't get stuck too long on deciding which programming language you should learn. The truth is that once you know a particular language, you can learn another language without as much effort really at all. And in the beginning, your focus should really be to learn the and learn and understand the fundamentals. So with a solid foundation, other languages, frameworks and technologies will come much, much easier. Now, having said that, if you still are really indecisive about which programming language you want to choose, then I would suggest either Python or Java just to throw two options out there. The reason I would suggest those two is because they do have a pretty quick learning curve and they're also very beginner friendly? Well, of course the answer is yes, you should be practicing. And even though learning code is easy, mastering it takes time and is a lot of hard work. While you may not need to be a genius before you land your first job, you do need to get dedicate time to learning how to code. Your computer speaks a language and your aim is to give it the right instructions in the language that it understands in order to reach your target. Spend time coding each day, really make it a part of your routine with resources like Udemy, Coursera, podcasts, YouTube videos, books, school, workshops, et cetera, et cetera. These resources will really assist you to get accustomed to coding like uh, developers in the real world. Another way you can achieve this is by starting a side project. Learn as you go and then take those learnings and put them into practice. Version Control with Git is an online course by Coursera that touches on tools and processes like GitHub, the command line interface, and Bitbucket used by engineers every day. I also have a list of a whole bunch of other ideas in the past video, how to become a better software engineer. And you can find that video in the description down below at the end of this video. So as a beginning software developer or software engineer, you're probably wondering, should I look at other engineers code? Well, yes, in fact, most experts would actually recommend you do this because reading good quality source code will not only equip you with better debugging skills, but it will also compel you to think about how you would do it. One way to do this is by browsing through GitHub repositories and looking through the documentation. Dive deep into them, look at them from different angles and map out the functionality. Are you feeling ambitious? You can even try to recreate it. Now that you've reached that stage, you're probably wondering, where do you find support to become a better developer? Well, it's important to have the support of like-minded people. When you get stuck, you can also join in-person or online communities, and they can help you get back on track. Now, with it being 2020, you might want to 
go with the online options, of course. And doing this, being around people who are also developers, being around like-minded people will also help you find areas where you can improve, new skills you can develop, and you can also get your code reviewed more often, which is something that's very helpful when it comes to your growth as a developer as well. You can even find a mentor through attending events and personal connections or online platforms such as LinkedIn to help you enhance your skills as well. And finally, don't forget to network. Having a professional network will make your job hunting process seem like a breeze. You can go to meetups, maintain a blog, look for volunteering opportunities, and even talk to people connected to companies that you would like to work for. So there you have it. We've discussed what a software engineer actually is, why and how you should practice and go about learning your first language, why you should read other developers' code, where you can find support, and whether or not you need a degree to become a successful software developer. If you have any other questions about your journey, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I hope this video has given you some clarity and a boost of confidence to pursue a career in computer programming. It does not matter if you're going to be self-taught or attend college. What matters is that it can be done and you can definitely find success. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.